Hello everyone, welcome to a little video looking in depth at some of the visual effects in Wren and how and why we put them together. Um, trying to show you uh, our process uh, in case it can help you in your own projects. The uh, sequence we're gonna look at today is this rather key scene from Wren. It's essentially where she gets the mark from, so it's kind of an important scene. This is the key inciting incident, if you will. This was how it was in the final product, but as you'll see, it was very different when we were filming it. Um, so this is some of the raw footage. Basically, the spirit has this sort of elemental feel. Um, and it's got this energy around it and that generates a bit of sort of wind and, and dirt flying around and we wanted this to happen so that it distracts Ren essentially from what's happening so she doesn't really realise that the spirit is taking over essentially. We do have a wind effect and that is created by Christopher Dane who's off camera holding a big poly board and just wafting it. <laughs> We find basically the more you can do practically, the better. So if you can get it in camera on the day, that is your best bet. Um, obviously, we ha we knew we were going to have to add the spirit itself as a visual effect. And so one thing we did with this, which we didn't do for the rest of the shoot, was we shot in 4K to give us the luxury of being able to blow things up and to have the best quality we needed. We shot it in 4K, which as you'll see, helped us out quite a lot later. What is this? Ah! We put it together into an initial first cut and I realised I had very much rushed this very important moment and this needed to have much more depth and poignancy um, and the shot of the wreath of breaking was so short, just a matter of seconds and it just wasn't enough time to have that moment, even to have the moment of the spirit coming out, hovering around, going inside Ren, her reacting to it and turning around. And so this was one of those moments when you realise that um, you didn't get what you needed on the day and you can't really go back and p do a pickup of it. Uh, so problem solving, which is basically what, what filmmaking is. How can we creatively get around this and, uh, and make it work for how it's meant to be? So I decided to slow down a bunch of the shots and then I took this particular shot, slightly different angle. And again, because we're in 4K, I was able to punch in on that shot and get essentially a close up of Ren looking at the spirit. Again, slowed this right down as well. And it, it worked for us very well. It also actually gave a very, um, dreamlike feel to it which was exactly what we needed so slowing it down actually really really helped so then with this new sequence we went back to our visual effects artist kesson and started talking about what the spirit might need to look like i needed it to look like something that sort of had intelligence that actually was aware of its surroundings, almost a will-o'-the-wisp character, essentially. We talked about this kind of ball, this glowing ball, and he came back with these these two very organic looking things and uh, was more inclined to go for this one that looked more like one sort of solid being almost. Uh, this looked a little bit too, um, too much movement going on, a bit too alien. Cousin first came back with this take. He's added lovely breaking elements. Because this actual wreath had a different crystal. We actually had a blue crystal for this one. It never quite landed where it needed to be. And we actually thought it was better to maybe have the same crystal style as the original one. The crystal was just um, a photo actually taken of the original Aretha and blended to make it look right. We had three different takes here. Um, all the little dust elements coming up, swirling around like a Catherine wheel and forming. Then this version where they all come up and sort of 
again almost firework like and this one which I think is closer to what we finally went with where the elements all just sort of come together and, and form that main element and then this same sort of thing this sort of whirling effect we've got dust coming out so this was really coming along to what we needed We did need to do one pickup to make this work. Myself and Neil and Alan, who plays Torbury, went out into the garden. Alan on one side and me on the other blew the leaf blower and the hairdryer basically across each other to try and create the idea of a whirlwind. So leaves going one way, leaves going another way. If we tried to completely create leaves blowing around and things like that in visual effects it would have been so much harder to do so adding that practical element just helps make the the spirit that we add on top even more real what is this you might ask this is a photo of us inside the living room shooting another element to add to this scene a vase full of dirty liquid basically it's just water and dirt trying to film a similar sort of thing this whirlwind effect that we needed and then compositing that on top turned around and sort of blended in and it's surprising how all of those elements come together to create the effect that with leaves going by um sophie's hair blowing in the breeze from our little poly board is all just enough to to help sell that effect don't be afraid to add computer generated visual effects with um, practical effects. It's surprising how well that really works. And this is the final sequence as it is. So a mistake made right, that with the music and everything makes this sequence just one of my absolute favorites. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did and you want to see more episodes of Ren the Girl with the Mark, please sign up to our Renew Ren mailing list over on rentheseries.com slash renew. And uh, we're going to be doing a Kickstarter, so stay tuned.